Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We're playing as the Empire of India, working our way up to the British Isles. Uh, one thing that I noticed that uh, amused me is... Uh, so I was just looking at how these uh, counties were progressing. Uh, this guy is looking awfully Chinese for being Greek. Oh, look, neither of his parents are. Oh, look, neither none of his grandparents are. Hmm, I wonder what you were doing, Mommy. <laughs> That always amuses me. It's like, they don't know... The, the, uh, the father's like, Oh, he's such a beautiful Chinese son I've had. Uh, it's good times. Anyway, um... Let's see, I got new kingdoms. Uh, I... The war is over, so I can go ahead and turn that back on. That'll finish up really soon. We will stay at war. Um, I have this guy that I am trying to, uh... Do something about... And so I cannot get this territory away unless I break this all up and try messing around with it again. Um, and I'm not sure. I mean, I can. So I can I can retract vassalage of these two and these two. And of course, the two little guys down here. Um, but he's got this, which I would need to get. There's an awful lot of, uh, hmm, weird. How do you have a classic of poetry? Um, yeah, I'm just not sure what the best way of, uh, getting that would end up being. That guy even has uh, that castle. I think I can revoke two things. So I could revoke, uh, this county. Wouldn't be able to get the, s the uh, the castle. I could get this city. And then, of course, I could just break this all up and, uh, have it result in, you know, trying to create a new one. That would, of course, eliminate, uh, all of the... the trade zones. All the Oman trade zones. Which are very... <laughs> Very similar in color to, uh, um, Socotra. <laughs> I don't know that I realize that. Uh, like, they would all get destroyed. They would start... They'd have to build new ones again, stuff like that. Uh... So I'm not sure that's what I want to do. He only has 2.8... K troops, if I enabled internal wars, I could always hope that they, that uh, people do de jure claims on him for stuff. I don't know. So, yeah, I think I will leave uh, Oman itself alone for now. And I will revoke... Let's see, that is Mocha. Mocha. I'm not sure if that's Mocha or Mocha. The city of Mocha. Okay. Revoke title. Grand city of Beta. Oh, that's going to be the city itself. Um, Alright, the Arga Beta. Okay. And yeah, so that would start pissing off everyone if I started uh, revoking stuff. However, I can retract vassalage now. 
Our imperial, imperial administration allows us to retract vassals without objection from the aristocracy. Uh, now, what I could do is... Wait until he's free. I mean, if he's just going to... Like, say, no every time, then I could start revoking other things. So I think I may do that. I think we'll wait. Go ahead and create a new vassal here. Eh, six isn't great, but... Alright, go ahead and uh, transfer vassalage of that guy. There we go. Alright, so, let's go ahead and ransom you. You don't have the money. Well, you know what? Uh, let's just uh, release you from prison, then. That'll uh, increase everyone's opinion by nine. I'm okay with that. Alright, and I think I have someone else... Go ahead and ransom you. And this guy... He's got two Mars pennants, but I don't think that I can... Yeah, I can't take them from him. So I will just uh, ransom him now. Do I have too many uh, held duchies? I do. So Tondai Nadu, Weichur Doab, Chera Nadu. So I've got that one, that one, and that one. Crap. Uh, I mean, I could just destroy them. Piss off a few people, but... I mean, do I care that much? Uh, it cost me 200 prestige. All de jure vassals of the uh, Satrapy of Cheranadu will be upset. Minus 40 opinion. Um... He already has that one. What exactly do you have right now? Just those two? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, I suppose if I transferred vassalage and then gave him the uh, duchy title, then he'd have a, uh, a vassal that is angry at him and he'd have to think about something. You have to think about whether he wants to give up this land. He's at four out of six. I don't know. I need to get rid of these. Yeah, let me get rid of this one. He may inherit it. Uh, 
Uh, Potopi is Kushtana. Okay. There you go. Grant landed title. Uh, Tundainadu. Yeah. There we go. All right. So now he is a uh, he's a vassal. I mean, he's got a an heir, but I just gave it to him. So hopefully he'll get some a wife and some kids and stuff. I guess I will transfer these guys as well. Just get rid of this stuff. All right. There we go. And you are some Tharaka. That guy. And Ikam. You're my Grand Vizier. Hmm. Oh well, I can get another one. Okay, and then uh, the capital of that duchy is this guy. Cheranadu. There you go. All right. That takes care of that. Takes care of some of the uh, vassal issues that we have. I gotta work on that one. I'm gonna need to uh, get this guy to revolt against me or something like that. And that should be good now. Okay. Then we're going back to uh, looting here. Uh, I might understand more about money than I do about people, but that doesn't mean I couldn't use my extensive knowledge of my realm's economy to impress Shah Dervanita III. Sure, I will share my knowledge with him. I need a new chancellor. It's definitely not going to be him. There we go, Safed. What? He's used the favor that I owed him to force an arranged betrothal. Oh, you jerk. Hmm. Alright, we're done there. Let's go over here. Okay. He paid the ransom. Looted 109 gold. Very nice. He answered my letter that he has much to learn from me. Marvelous. Except paying the ransom. Huh. Why did he pay the ransom? Eh, whatever. Do I want to loot this? Eh, might as well. It's uh, It's got a mayor. They get me some cash. Alright, so. Um, next war that we want to do. I've raised army levies. Where do I have raised army levies? Was I fighting someone off up here? I was. Okay. At least we'll take care of this. I uh, sent me money for my troops. 22 gold. Nice. Uh, 60 gold looted there. Alright. Iraq 
Black has created the Satrapy of Hijaz. Okay. You've acted dishonorably towards me. Uh, I am going to imprison you and then release you. Just so that you're not in the list. I don't really want to do anything against Telangana. There's no real point. Uh, I mean, I could get Maharasta, but then that would screw up that whole area down there and I'd have to deal with all those vassals again. Okay, 106 gold has been looted there, and the construction at stage 4 of the Great Omani K has uh, finished. K, Quay, I can never remember which it's supposed to be, or whether it's both, or all, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead, and I would think I was thinking about getting the tavern, so let's go ahead and get that. Makes sense for that to be in the harbor. There's a lot of uh, troops down there, 12,000. I do need to be careful. He's a most disgraceful satrap. I should have used harsher wording. 137 gold has been looted there. Nice. Uh, you wish to forsake your old religion. No. Uh, a prominent subject has petitioned me for justice. His daughter has had supposedly been beaten by Marshal Vimal Prabha while she was their guest, and their father is requesting compensation. Uh, I can imprison him. I gain 25% chance to gain just. I don't believe this daughter must be lying. I gain arbitrary. I find evidence. He will be fined for his crime. I mean, it says he's requesting compensation. Why is the fine arbitrary and imprisonment just here goes my marshal You're 22 this guy is uh, 25 he might die I'm pretty sure that I cannot make her marshal right away. So I guess I'll make him marshal. There we go. Turn on auto stop plots for a moment. Let's go ahead and search for a guru. I haven't done that in a little while. I can invite a holy aesthetic. But I'm saving up my uh, my points. Oh, I can introduce my heir to the realm. Let's go ahead and do so. I cannot teach virtue. When can I do that again? Eleven oh nine, so a couple more years. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that is uh, taken care of. We have a sieged Kadesh. Couldn't disband you. 
52 gold has been looted. Alright, so, uh, I got people in the Byzantine lands. I... do not have a truce with the Byzantine Empire. Alright, so... What would I want, ideally? Um, that's all Anatolia, so I, I don't think I'd really want to take that. Uh, could go up and get uh, Trebizond, push my way up that way. Just carve a swath right up there. If I did that, let's see. So I could do uh, Mesopotamia, then Trebizond, Armeniacon, Paphlagonia, uh, Optima Toy, and then Thrace. So, one, two, three, four, five, six wars to get Constantinople. Um, which is a lot, but... It's kind of okay. That is drifting into the Kingdom of Thrace, but it's going to be a long time. Yeah, this isn't actually drifting anywhere right now. And I would kind of want Trebizond, because it's green, as a, uh, a kingdom that I can create. <laughs> um... But yeah, I mean, like, I'm definitely going to be waiting for Anatolia for an invasion. Oh, that's going to be a lot of land that I end up getting. All at once. I do not have a valid Cassus Belli against the Pope. Um... So let's say I did get here. How would I want to do that? Alright, so the nice thing about an invasion of Anatolia is that I'd get this coast. Well, not this part yet. But I'd get uh, this duchy and I'd get this duchy. Which would be a pretty quick hop right over... Um, I'd have a sea tile border so I could declare a, a holy war against the papacy for Ancona or something. Um, although that's not the best, uh, I'd probably actually want to go for Ferrara, then Tuscany, then Latium. Because Ancona is half owned by the Byzantines. Spoleto is uh, Byzantine and Bavaria. So yeah, Ferrara, Tuscany to Latium would probably be a better way of doing that. Alright. Uh, the Byzantines are currently Galilean Holy War for Sinai. I'm kind of okay with. I mean, like, I, I don't need to. I don't. I don't care what happens there. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish looting these counties. Have I looted that one? I have not looted that one. Okay. So I'll probably go down there and loot that with one of these armies, but I can I can raise up my troops and 
do that. I think that uh, Mesopotamia is going to be a good one. Uh, the other option would be Edessa and then Colonea, but I, this is just one and it gets me up to Trebizond, it gets me to the coast, which the more boats I have, the better. I won't know until my next character whether I could do an invasion against the Aztecs for the British Isles. Which, uh, we will get all of that if we do that. Pictland has formed. Blood of Maria the Great. Why is it always women, though? That's three women who've had the, that bloodline. You died under suspicious circumstances. Do I care? Well, invite to court. Uh, buy favor. Send gift. Buy favor. Let's hope that you come with me, with him. As Presimda introduces himself to Argobd Hivimda, Hivimdu of Yueyu Yuquan, he not only accidentally spills a beverage on his shoes, but he also manages to insult all of his ancestors. That kid is a disaster. Okay. Invite to court. Thank you. You'll also be bringing a hand calligraphy with you. A oh, son was born. be teaching all of my sons. Okay, he accepts his, uh, the invitation. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and demand your religious conversion. Seizure of Daria. It's not a problem. Uh, while having a pleasant conversation, you were suddenly interrupted by an infernal ruckus. Upon further investigation, it seems as if... Pressumda has gotten into a fight with the child of one of your visiting vassals. Uh, I don't care. I wonder who started it. Okay, you are 11. I cannot change your focus. Shervan has been converted. Ninety-five gold has been looted up there. Okay, you have converted. Let's go ahead and get you married. Who do we have? Um... I do not have any members of my dynasty, so... Let's see, you're pretty young. You're just courtiers. And religious conversion for you. Okay, I don't really care. 
Uh, my lord, the wise guru Brika has agreed to come and take up residence at your court. Alright. Uh, decent fellow. Excellent. Peasants of Navasarika are slowly starting to respect my rule again. You seek to fabricate a claim. Right, I need to turn off uh, auto stop plots. I'm not backing that. How am I backing that? Like, did someone, uh... Ask me to, uh, um... Like, did they call in a favor or something? Okay, there we go. It's, uh, not there anymore. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, he introduces himself to Pujari Baga of Mago. He not only, uh... Way to go, kid. 99 gold has been looted, though. You submit to, uh, that. Alright, 45 gold has been looted. Uh, Smuggler's Ring in Navasarika has been disbanded. Alright, so we have looted all of that. Let's come down here. Almost looted all of that. I find it curious that the Hindu priests are constantly pestering Marzaban Sayosa no matter what he promises to do, no matter how much money he uh, bestows. I know what he can do. Go with a diplomatic education for you. And I've gained a depressed. Uh, Pujari Baga of Magao is a renowned godly and learned vassal of yours after having introduced himself to Presumda. Baga approaches you with an offer. He is willing to spend some time teaching him some of the more intricate parts of the Mahabharata in exchange for your favor. One learning, 50 karma, and I owe him a favor. Yep. Alright. I will immediately buy that. Okay. So how long is that, uh... One year and one month. I think I'll wait until that's... well... Let's see if I can, uh, retract vassalage, if you will. Attack me or anything. Let's see what you decide to do. <laughs> oh, that's good times. Okay, that's good enough. Oops. I grabbed a two of you. I have looted that. I have not looted that. Let's go down there so that I can go declare war. Alright, so. We have forced this guy to uh, attack us again, uh, which is fine by me. Um. And also, this guy has gotten involved, which is fine by me. Oh, and we improved uh, relations with him, too. That's great. So when we come back next time, uh, we got another... Uh, we're going back to war against these guys. Um, yeah, I think I'm just not going to uh, retract anything until I've taken everything that I want. That seems like a good idea to me. Anyway, that will be next time. See you then, everyone.